bird has gone from being cute to me wanting to choke it. Watch this. Hey, are you hungry? All right. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, you're so cute. Oh, but you're not very coordinated. You gotta stick it right in his stupid mouth. You want to pick it up off the ground. You have to hand feed him. That usually shuts them up for a while. I'm trying to get them to heal a little bit. Some more. You gonna be okay? All right. He's growing. He's about ready to fly the coop. I hope. And after you, Barbara. We'll put you together a good little video tape today. So you can take back to Ocala and watch us anytime. You know, looks real sharp. I walked in, he said, hey, Larry, you know. This is Larry you know, talking I the back. I mean, about I how awesome he is. So I go to the back, and he comes in and says, oh, when you get a minute, I want to talk to you. He said, did you do this install here? I was like, oh, no. I was like, yes, sir, I did, because they give you pictures, and they want it done a certain way. Everything's, you know, got to be so-so. And I well, it wasn't a big deal, but I thought I was going to have to redo something or fix something he didn't like. So uh, I said, uh, well, no, I don't have to do this right now. I said, I've got time. Let's just go. You can show me what you, you'd like for me to do for you. Right, so we walk around the corner and go around to the back where his mop right, sink is and the floor. They have these really dumb yeah. garbage or we wash the garbage cans and stuff. And we have a, uh, an oasis is what it's called installed there. And he said, this is the best oh, install right. I have ever seen <coughs> done. He said, I want all of I my stores it. from now on yeah, to be done. And I want you to facilitate taken care of and making oh, really? corporate people do them like this when they do them again. What are you putting like, in, Larry? I was like, great. Yeah, I said, oh, big yeah. Big dishwashers for, 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 uh, uh, you know, I for uh, uh, restaurants. Echo Lab. Lab. I do restaurants. Oh, and they do, uh, you know, sanitizer and whatever you do. Every, everything to do with, 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 with the dishwasher. Okay. So I'm, I took pictures of it with my camera, but I can't get the, I don't know how to get the well, pictures off, but I want to, I'll take Jesse's tool there and I'll, Film it, and I can talk and say, you know, this is the way it's done. This is how it's done. And then I can send my boss a DVD of it, or not my boss, but a big shot with the company. And then they'll be like, you know, this is real professional done stuff. So I was tickled, man, because I was, you know, you know. Well, you should be. Oh, yeah, because that's, that's huge. It's a national account. That's like, you know, that's like big shots. Uh, we do a lot of business with, you know, we do every one of the Logans over the United States. Y'all want to say hey to, say hey to Barbara so she can watch this DVD, Nick, and... and Always remember you. Hey, Barbara. There you go. <laughs> hi, Mom. Oh, I'm like, hey, Barbara. I always wanted to do the hi, Mom. There you go, David. <laughs> hey, Barbara. I love you. <laughs> All right, Dad. Try to say it without crying. Hey, my sweet sister. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> hey, I've been crying all day today. We hey, sitting on porch crying. Ain't nothing wrong with crying. It'll, it'll wash your eyes out. Well, I called it. Let's see, feel let me better. tell you how I got David over here. I, I, we were, I don't know why we got talking about David. Me and Barbara's out there. And I think we're talking about how he used to get Barbara to throw up. We were just talking about how, 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 you know, how he'd go. He, oh, he'd ride down the road, Barbara go, whoop, whoop. Oh. She said, all right, Dave, you better quit. And next thing you know, she's pulled off the side of both of them. He'll be out there with both of them throwing up. And I said, you know, I said, I've been, I said, I've been thinking about calling David for months. And, and I said, maybe a year or more. And she said, well, then you, you got a phone book. You ought to call him. That's right. And so mm -hmm. I went and got the phone book. Look up Carl Chance and his dad, Charlotte. No, her sister, her Carol. daughter. Carol's, Carol's daughter. daughter Nikki. And I said, uh, I, I, uh, how was it? I said, is, uh, I forgot what I asked. Something, I said, well, I'm trying to get in touch with, uh, with David Chance. I said, his whistle there. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. I said, his whistle there. She said, well, he's gone. I said, well, I said, I'm trying to get in touch with his son, David Chance. She said, well, he's right here. Except so Mark Simon. Yeah, Simon. she gets phone, she gets talk. He gets talk <laughs> about, to me. he was crying on the phone. I was crying. <laughs> he was telling about finding God and about how God touched his life and his right. heal, healed his back. That's and awesome. so I said, guess who's sitting here with me? Well, if, this, is, this is right at first, though, before we got yeah. to talk about the Lord. He said, Chris? He was thinking, I was James. Sounded like James on the phone. And I said, no, Barbara's here. And then he said, oh, I said, man, can you come up here today? He said, I, he said, you, you, he said you better believe it, something like that. So we, Barbara Jean, we, she, after we hung up, we just talked, prayed, and had, I mean, just thank God, cried. <laughs> she said, we were all excited about David. <laughs> oh, sure. Excited about being here. <laughs> about being you, you know, you, when you're 
your friends get saved and stuff like that, there's nothing better. Uh, you know, part Steve, you got saved. This, this, is Jim, died, this, is, this is Jim Toe. This is one of my best, <coughs> dearest friends. Okay. This is David no, Chen. This, this is a, one of the guys I'm, I'm sure I was talking about. He plays play softball with us. <laughs> me and him play football together in high school and, me and basketball. And him and Cookie got threw off the basketball team together. <laughs> <laughs> What about Jim? Yeah, buddy, I'm filming. <laughs> I'm doing better, though. Coach kicked all three of us off. You must have been feeling better if you like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for a while, I was, if I wasn't on my back, players back players then I was uh, <laughs> on Valium. I know, me and Timmy were dating. That's good. I can film both of y'all at the same time, David. He made us, he told us, you stay down here. And he said, don't come out of there. Don't come out of the basement. Stay down here. Hang on, start that story over again. I would missed it. I was well, talking we, to Jim. We were playing basketball, and some kind of fight broke out. I don't know what, what all it was. And me and Larry, they all there. played together. Two reads and a chance, they're going to be a fight. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, the coach grabbed us and broke everything up. The coach tip told all the team, get down there and you stay in, stay downstairs. Well, he went back upstairs, and, and we crawled out the window and got behind the bus. And, and I guess it was your car, because me and Jesse didn't me and Larry didn't have no car. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just tried to chase oh, down the bus, try to catch them before they got on the bus. That's a three-year-old boy right there. Finish the story. That's it. That's it. Then we we didn't. You couldn't pull the bus on. We we couldn't. I mean, y'all got in trouble though. Oh, yeah, coach threw all three of us off, off the basketball team for, for the rest of the season. Yeah, we were wrong. My goodness. So there's Tammy. Larry, did you bring your tomato? Nope. Well, I'm going and here's Bowen right here. That's Tammy's boy. We Three years old. I guess the first guess. Tammy. Hey, Bowen. It's my little boy. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, Bowen. What's up, buddy? I know this man. How you doing? This is David Chance. Shake his hand. Hey, David. He, that, boy, that boy's three years old. About three and a half. Well, he'll be, he'll be four. He'll be four in July. He's four. almost as big as he's four in September. Hey, there's Barbara. Hey, Barbara. Hey, wave to yourself. Hey, a seven calls in a... Oh. oh. Children. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Yeah, those half is. I thought it was If you don't look at your food, you'll have your food off your plate. What about the plate? You'll have your... I said, if you don't wash him, he'll get snatched the food off your plate. Like Jesse did. Oh, I remember one time we said that. Jesse ate everything on your plate. Uh -huh. And what's all I said eating? And Bob was fixing some french fries or something. And she took a bite of raw potato. And when it uh -huh. was dead, I started gagging. And next thing you know, everybody was in there throwing up. I took a bite of it. Yes, you were. Hey, I took a bite of it. Oh, is that what and it was? I told mother, I said, mother. And I said, this, this potato is rotten. She told me, hush and eat. She was embarrassed. Well, she was embarrassed. David well, was there, and I said, "Mother, I said, I said, I got that gig." I said, "Mother, well, I threw it down. I took off." Well, Bob, mother smelled it. You know, I, I'm sure both of them had to smell it. Next thing you know, David and Bob were all out in the backyard just puking our guts. <laughs> I, mean, I would have remembered that. So that I, reminds me of a Family Guy episode where they're all throwing up. <laughs> That old time. That's our family thing. Hey, wait, we get Barbara. No, we'll get, get, hey, we'll get Barbara here and get her puke. There's an episode on Family Guy where they all taste stuff, and all right, whoever can go along with that puke and wins. And they know the whole, there's like five minutes of these cartoon hey, characters puke on each other. And we I just right. love it. They ate medicine to see who was getting like the last pie or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. And, <laughs> and that's how they get through puking all over each other. I know who wants pie. <laughs> we went to some church in Jasper one time. And Barbara took off with, I guess, so, I don't know who else was with you, with y'all in a car. And they, we were sort of like racing. Well, I come up, and I'm coming down to 78, looking at the style. I said, that's Barbara's car right there on the side of the road. I said, they must have had trouble. I start pulling that dark, you know, I turn my light on. I come around, they're both off in the ditch, throwing <laughs> He had started going, bleh, bleh, and got her going and shit. <laughs> we used to have some time together. I'm telling you the truth. We went to visit him one day. I, I guess what now? We, I don't know, one Sunday morning, I don't know why we went down where David and them lived on the river. And Barbara's talking, this talking about it. She had her new Sunday dress on. He picks her up and takes her and throws her in the water. She's hollering, this is my new dress. I don't care you got no new dress. <laughs> <laughs> he used to say, Stace, all this will be good for uh, uh, prosperity. Prosperity. Well, if she can sell it, she mother, can be prosperous. Yeah, that prosperous. Mother, <laughs> mother used to tell Dave, because Dave was all the time at the house. And he'd come in, he'd just sit down, start eating or playing. So one day she said, I'm taking the kitchen, I'm taking the restaurant sign off the kitchen, I'm taking the hotel sign off the house, and I'm taking the uh, in, in sign off the uh, bedroom probably, or probably something. The taxi something. off the yeah, car. Taxi that's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Because there wasn't much left. There wasn't much left. One time, of course, you come down to the house. I had toothache. So mother I told Barbara that today. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Mother has a goes gets a half pint of whiskey, a day's whiskey. Well, I got to put it on my finger. And of course it did. Next thing you know, we're <laughs> taking putting a spoon. Next thing you know, 
We'll drink that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Maybane. Mm -mm -mm. Maybane whiskey. That was young. Now, I seen, uh, I went to the motorcycle deal on 69, seen Tim Hodge, and that's uh, Tim and Charlotte, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, now, her, his daughter was there with him, uh, rode on the bike with him, and when, when I first seen her, I was like, I was like, I thought it was Charlotte. You know what I mean? It was like looking at her when she was, you know, 16 or 15 which, again. Which one was it? I don't know, but, buddy, she looked just like her. And I was looking at her, and I was like, this is your daughter, right? I was, and I was afraid to say something because, you know what I mean, you don't want to hurt Charlotte's feelings if she's, you know, she should look older than that. But And she's like, yeah, that's, he's like, yeah, that's my daughter. I'm like, golly, she looks just. I said, there's no denying she's a chance, but I said, she looks just like uh, Charlotte. And then I see, uh, uh, Carol Dean. I see yep. her in Cadova. See, I live She's in Cadova. She's a church now. Is Carol Dean in church? Yes. Fabulous. Yes. See, and I see Carol Dean, and I, I don't think I don't think I know her husband, but Wendy knows all of them and their kids Mine. and stuff. She sees them at the, uh, you know, at uh, at school and stuff like that. So she knows everybody's kids yeah. and stuff. So she works at school. That's just fabulous. That Carol Dean. Dad and I can build a new church, Larry. Oh. Uh, like you turn left, go to a Milstein plant. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you take that left, it's right there where the cellars used to live, right there on the corner there. Milton, first left. Milton Cellars? Yes. Take the first, you take the first left and, and then on the right. Right, I'm the right there in right. West Jefferson about building a church? Yeah. Yes, right. That's where are you going to church, Dave? In that corner, up over Daddy, up in Sumter right now. Uh, at Sumter Church, church God. God? Is that where Brother yeah. King used to be? That's Timby of God. Okay. Yeah. Well, me and Kelly don't live uh, two miles from there. Is that right? Mm -hmm. We live right, right off Cellars Road. Yeah. Oh, uh, down up in uh, Hayfield Drive. Okay. So, hey, we're gonna buy some uh, them. Uh, you ever watch the Ultimate Fights UFC? Yeah. Uh, we're, they're gonna come down the house. And we're gonna watch them tomorrow night. If you uh, you're more than welcome to come, cause so I can find all the guys. I want but no women, cause she feels like she has sitting there watching that crap. <laughs> no women. I was like, honey, if you, oh, well, I said, but if Wendy comes, you ain't gotta come hang out here. She's like one of the guys anyway. Yeah, Wendy, Wendy is like one of the guys. Mm -hmm. But uh, now, okay, okay, okay. She and yeah, she's tougher than some of them. Yes, yeah, she is. Tougher than. Let me tell you what, tell you what kind of job God gave me, Larry. I was on disability. I was coming home from work one day and said, Lord, I'm going for everything I can do. So I called Lady for disability paper, Social Security. And she filled all my paperwork for me. I didn't have to go up there and sign nothing. She talked to me on the phone. Then four months, I had it. Hmm. Yes. Now that, that's real quick, though. That is unusual. And I told her what kind of situation I had. I said, ma'am, I said, I've tried to work now for the last uh, year. And I said, I'm going for as I can go. I told her the situation when who my uh, doctor was, and I told her, Dr. Zeiger. So I guess when they looked at oh, Dr. Zeiger, I, I guarantee they did. And he, he probably sent them all the X-rays and, and films and all the surgery stuff. Surgery and everything, yeah. you know. And uh, I said, Lord, and that's you hear me. I said, I need a job. Well, I called this guy, and he said, well, I can use so-and-so for $33 an hour. And I said, no, I said, I'm to pray about it. And he kind of hesitated, you know, and he, I guess he thought I was kidding. And I said, I'll, I'll let you know something will come Monday. He said, okay. Well, I've been waiting there Monday. I went down with him, and uh, they give us a raise from 33 to to uh, about $45 an hour. We have to travel. We have to weld uh, put up these water tanks in different states. But they start out with concrete, though. Once you get so high, 100 foot high, and then you, they come in with form, uh, metal and form it, and then I can tack it in place and they'll bring welders in to finish welding. So it's the tack welding? Yeah, yeah. He told me, he says, Dave, someone's seen Franklin, Tennessee. I said, I don't want to go to Franklin, Tennessee. He started laughing. He said, well, I said, we'll send you up there to get some more money. And I said, okay. You know, I said, I told him, you know, I said, money's not everything anymore, sir. I said, it's not. And I said, but I appreciate your concern. He said, no. He said, anybody tell me they got to pray over a job, money I offer them, is usually they knock you in the head trying to get in the door. And I said, well, so I was honest with you. He said, I realized that. Hey, people looking for people they can trust, people yep. they know they're going to show up. And I hear it everywhere I go. You know you know who any good employees are? You know you know, you know anybody good? It's hard. They don't want to, people don't want to work. Right. I'll be gone for anywhere from 10 to 15 weeks at a time. And then sometimes they come tell you. That's why the pay scale is so good. Yeah. You, you, you don't have to leave your home for a while. A lot of guys will not they, they got to make the, they gotta make the pay scales sure. of the. Oh shoot, man! I was screwed up there for a while. Hey, Baldwin, say hey to Aunt Barbara. I'm gonna give this uh, tape to Aunt Barbara. Stay straight. Keep your legs up.
Don't wave. Just say hey, Barbara. Can you say hey, Barbara? Say hey, hey, Barbara. Say hey, hey, Barbara. Blow a kiss to the camera. To the camera. Say wave at the camera. Just wave at me. Wave at Uncle Jesse. And he'll, he'll come out of that shell a little later. All right, I'm here. Tammy, I'm going to give this, take the Barbara, you want to say anything to her? Yeah, I love you, Aunt Barbara. I'm glad you. You're so heartfelt. I said, well, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you came to see us. Probably after being gone over a year. <laughs> we we, we you, need to move a little bit closer. Come on, jump on. Same thing to Aunt Barbara. This is uh, going back with her to Florida. Hey, Barbara, we love you. Hey, Junior, too. <laughs> We're glad Junior's doing glad better. Glad you're here. Glad Junior's doing good. Maybe <laughs> the next time you have to come. Please. Baby, you want to say something to Barbara? Yes, baby. Speak. Yes, baby. Dance for Barbara. There you go. That's for Barbara. What a good girl. Mommy, give you a treat. He went through Georgia. They wanted how mean the Georgia cops were. He said he was speeding. They pulled him over. This guy walked over and slapped him right in the mouth. Back to him said, see your license. I said, no kidding. Give him his license. And the guy slapped him right in the mouth again. He was so damn going through Georgia. He did it walk around. That's how I told the guy I rode his window. I rode his window and he slapped him right in the mouth. So why is it that for? He said, so when y'all go down the road about three miles, you'll say, well, I wish he had tried that with me. <laughs> 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 I wish he had slapped me. I showed him. I wouldn't have taken that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I watched that cop show, and those guys of Fulton County, some, they had some pythons on them. So they they didn't play. Buddy. They did not play. Then I got to watch the, the law over in Russia. They come in your house. Oh, they definitely don't play. They beat the crap out of it. Mm -hmm. I wish you was like that over here. Rights, wait, I'm an American citizen. I have rights. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Man, they just beat him. You I have mean, the right to him. stay there and let me beat you. Wow. But I tell you what, there's some guys, too, and them big old pythons coming in here and grab you, and like they said, you start hearing that pop, 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 pop. <laughs> it don't matter how big your pythons well, that's are, true. somebody shoots you four or five times. They will. It ain't like here. They don't, they don't have they don't I have hear they do shoot you, too, here, buddy. I watch those cop shows. Gun laws in Russia are different here. Every home don't have a gun. Yeah. So you, if you got a gun, you really in deep trouble. I've seen that cop show where the guys, you know what I mean? Those guys killed that cop. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. It was on film. They jumped him. Two guys beat him, put him down the ditch, took his gun away from him, oh, yeah. shot and killed him, hopped in their car. But you know, Larry, there's something I don't That's just sad. If you're watching these cops on TV, yeah. you have three or four of them just on this guy, you know. Mm -hmm. they put your arm behind your back. Well, he can't move. Can't move, They're all right. over him. And that, to me, that's, that's crazy. Well, think about how mad you'd be if you had to chase some idiot through three backyards and the whole time, and by the time, it'd be hard not to you know, break his arm on purpose. You want him to give you your arm, but you don't But I don't feel arm, sorry for the guys getting arrested because I think they should be rougher. If, if they was, things probably wouldn't be as bad as they was, hey, or now. Hey, I, I'm, I'm chasing nobody. If I'm a cop, I'm be a dog. But there you go, yeah. sick let, let him go. Let and the dog stop. on them. It's a whole different matter. Yes. Hey, we gonna turn it You'll have them, man. I've seen them where they, they give up as soon as they hear that. I'm going to turn this dog loose, man. They'll start coming out of the trees. All right, hey, here I am. Don't turn that. Don't throw me. Uh, Wait a minute. Nick's talking. Nick, what you going to tell a story? Tell us that dog? story about that no, dog. No, no. I was waiting for I was waiting for her. Cool yeah. talk. <laughs> You're talking. I got you. Go ahead and finish your story. Hey, you never get never, ever. Hey, Larry Uncle Morris, the you know, first time he met Kelly, man, he was hugging all over. And, and, uh, and uh, well, I told him, I was like, buddy, if I didn't love you as much as I did, I promise you, you're the only guy to get away with that. <laughs> only guy. Because you know, back you know, me and Kelly hadn't been dating long. I mean, I was want to fight everybody. <laughs> and I, was like, I was bad jealous, man. <laughs> You look at her, you look at her. She told me some guy, like, he heard so-and-so let me borrow this book. I was like, who, who let you borrow this book? <laughs> that was pretty like terrible. You. You are, you are. I just, I'm just so insecure. Hey, you me. <laughs> she you. I wish Kelly was Jill. <laughs> hey, no, you no, don't. You don't. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Hey, a little bit. You no, know you what the Bible says don't. about jealousy? It says jealousy is cruel as the grave. Yes. No, so you remember that. It's all. I know that. Terrible. There is no I'll, peace I'll like that. trusting your wife. Hey, you I used to tell people yeah, I'd drop used Wendy off at a bar, leave her, she'd be the only girl in the place, come back an hour and get her, not worry a thing about it. That's exactly I know right. she ain't going to do nothing. Unless mm -hmm. somebody, you know, hurt her. But you well, then that'd be okay. Well, she, I told Will, I said, I trust you. I don't trust you. She, yeah, she whipped him. I ain't worried about nobody hey, yeah. talking trouble with him. Hey, Larry, talking about she whipped him. You remember that time several years ago when we was down on the river and Dana was going to 
you know, she was macho and she was going to throw somebody in the river. And she looked at me and I said, I don't want to go into the river. <laughs> And she picked Wendy, and I told Betty, I said, oh, she my Lord, Lord. she should have picked anybody but Wendy. <laughs> Damn. She should have picked Wendy. Yeah. Oh, she picked yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. She picked any of us but Hey, I went, to get, uh, I went to Jimmy Ray's. He, he, uh, he, was, he, was, he bought a couch. Jimmy, of course, he's got a bad back, but he bought a couch. It's bigger than this one. It had two uh, recliners in it, so that's a lot of metal. It's heavy and stuff like that. He couldn't get in his house. And I, I said, you know, he called me to come hit. And I said, yeah, we'll be down there. And Wendy went down there to get it, and he was like, I'll get this in, you get that in. I was like, get out of the way. I don't want to be stumbling around. I said, Winnie, grab that in. You know what I mean? And I pulled it off the truck, you know what I mean? Handed Winnie her in. I said, Jimmy, go get the door. <laughs> I'm telling you, when we, I grabbed it, my end of it, and then when he turned it up, we walked all the way around his house, Who walked inside, it? and set it and set it in place for him. Who was the guy that took me in for a ride one night, Jimmy? Woo! Oh. That's Jimmy. Yep. Hey, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Wayne? Drinking. No, Jimmy No, Ray. Jimmy Wayne. Right. 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 paper between them bumpers. Jimmy was drinking. He was a race car driver. I don't care what it was. I mean, he, I mean, he, he, he was a race car driver. He used to get, he get all over you, man. We were scared. Hey, I'd reach up and grab the gear shift and pull it in neutral. Yeah. You better leave that thing yeah. on. He'd throw back your tail. I'd reach up. I said, get me the house. I don't. You remember that time that he took me and you for a ride? And Corky was not very old at all. And Corky, Corky got so that Well, I got tickled now that we think about it. He had some kind of transmission in that thing. He could be going 50 miles an hour, jerk it down, and it would spin around in the middle of the road. I it was a bootlegger's car. So Jim, so Jimmy, scared. my my father, my, my granddad was a bootlegger. And Jimmy lived with him and they delivered corn liquor. Mm -hmm. and, and this was a bootlegger's car. It was so sad, but I'm they telling you, Corky held on to the back seat. I laid I down and I held laid on in the back seat. Because he was going to be blown out. out. It was a yellow cornet yep. 440. Yep. It sure was. Yep. 440. Yep. Dang. I'll be up with most of the race car drivers years ago. That's what they were. Oh, man. Was, mm -hmm. Well, that's how NASCAR got started. Yep. Sure it was. was. And one time he came, because he was a bad to drink, and he came, always come by the house, always wanting my Mustang, driving me crazy. And that's why I've got such a reputation being such a bad driver, but it was his fault, because oh. I am not. Don't blame on somebody oh. else. Don't blame on somebody else. Oh, I tried to blame that on she you. Remember when we were like, she, she had me and you screaming, we Turn thought she was going to get us killed by a train. Oh. She was running down beside the track. Oh, I had plenty of time. Oh, I had plenty of time. There's a million people in the graveyard that had plenty of time. But <laughs> funny, she went just like that, and that train was like, yeah. I was like, oh. I think you've done, if you've done. Porky, how close was that train to hit us? Now you turn this line on. Just, just, the one on the bottom, you just pull, you cut it off. Pull the one on the bottom. Yeah, there you go, genius. You got to be smarter than the stinking piece of train. I'm coming here. I'm switching the house. Look, 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 to Cadova and I was on the road over here and the tracks was this way. Mm -hmm. I saw the train. I wasn't running beside him. You was where? <laughs> I, I was on the road here and the railroad track was Say that again. The O E N word. On. Yes, I was on the road. I was on the road, not on, on the road. The road. <laughs> We'll not have no proper speaking English in this house, I'll tell you right now. Do you remember, Larry, I had uh, Brother Teddy Avery was there with me. Oh, I won't ever forget well, that. Did right? you know he heard he it, the whistle, and he got to beating on my dash. Get me off! Get me off! Get me off! You see, he was blind. And, and they, say, the train coming. they say that's the most horrible yeah. sensation for a blind well, person. Well, honey, if a blind man can hear it, you know that you was messed up. <laughs> <laughs> you was supposed to. You missed it. A blind man can hear it, they just can't see it. You're right. Listen, but, listen, but he's trying to tell you something. Between his hearing and my seeing, <laughs> she was way too close to that train. Right. Hey, I was coming it on scarred me for life when I go to a railroad train now still. Before I cross. You are full of air I was coming home from work one day, and this car, oh, no. this train was coming. I am on that. And she they was had a sit, you know. They had a man sitting on the end of the, of the train, and he was coming. I was, when I was, I was, I was coming pretty fast. I got to look at, and he seen I wouldn't stop. He's going, and I was going. 
And he's going. <laughs> and I was shooting right home by that train. And he wasn't going very fast. Oh, my God. But he was telling me, hey, man, I'm going to get you. Larry, was you really scared, you really scared or are you just making it? Barbara, up? I will never forget. It scared me nearly to death. It was that well, close. Well, good. So it was it that has, close. You have a healthy It was scary <laughs> close. And she was flying to beat it. She, I mean, she wasn't cruising 35 mile an hour. No, I wasn't. Who drove she her was flying. No. No. Bless her heart. You are you asked riding with her? You asked her how good I did. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. And you believe it? I might have go. I might have went seventy one, but no, because I did that because sixty eight. No, you well, didn't. Back then she had seventeen tires on her Mustang, so you know she's going to triple that speed. Barbara, you didn't do that because of me. Well, usually, usually I go about I seventy, thought, maybe seventy five. Oh no, but I, I don't listen to you. But I knew you'd be more comfortable if that, and I knew I would be comfortable on that. But I'm not comfortable going fifty. The people or 50. around her might be comfortable with that, but she's going. Hey, me and a buddy of mine was out one night, and we had that uh, eclipse. And we was going, and you know, we seen the train come, and we looked at each other. He's like, "Yeah, let's go for it." I mean, we gunned it. I mean, I, when I went across, I and mean, I was off the ground. It one went up, and my uh, all, all four tires was off the ground, and them lights come in and lit up the whole car, and we went so we probably was like, "Yes, <laughs> we almost got killed, but that was awesome." <laughs> you know, and then later like, like, "Man, I can't." Hey, next hey, day, hey, like, "Dude, we were so stupid." Me and Dave were getting a pass one another going to and from work sometimes. Oh, yeah, I've heard right this Right there by, uh, by the, where the guy does the, the tire work there in, in West Jefferson. Yeah, West Jefferson. yeah I heard that Cooper guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and one day, I don't know what got into us, but thank God he's merciful to dummies. Yes. All of a sudden, we're going, and here we go. He switches lanes. Why switch lanes? Well, we sit there, and, 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 and I'm thinking, oh, God, is he going to change right the last minute? <laughs> And you know, Barbara, we switched right at the last minute, both of us at the same time. Uh -huh. If we had, and they, we called the phone, he said, let's talk with this. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared, one. my knees were hurting, I was so scared. <laughs> hey, hey, my time, you already told one. So I'll be calling the show. Hey, boy, child. But the thing of it is, if he hadn't, you just told one. But the thing of it is, if he one. hadn't changed, if we both hadn't changed at the same time, <laughs> I mean, if one of us had not done it, that's a great thing. Man, we don't need to replay. I've already heard the story. I'm trying to do God's will. Oh, 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 it wasn't just one of us that, that I mean, it's just that. He said God's will. Hey, you can't use that card. I think I knew. I think that's a replay too. Yeah, you can't use that card. I'm sorry, I'm trying to save that. Wait, I'll say something about the Lord. Hey, me and Monty one time. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Bobby Cooper told me him and Lynn Turner was coming up with a big one one time. Well, this ain't even about him. He's telling a story about somebody else. That's right. We're talking about James and Corey and Bobby Cooper. Bobby Cooper told me he was going to tell a lie. Hey, the Lord helped this person. Shut up. So anyway, that's what happened. Yeah, that's right. 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 They go all the way up to it, and he said he's so close. Every time it passes, it scares him. The car, the caboose, the steps tear off the whole, tore off the whole front end of his car and spun him and Lynn out. Are, are you talking mm. about Bobby Cooper the Bobby Cooper? Bobby, 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 Bobby Thomas. Oh, oh, with, oh Bobby, Bobby Thomas, Thomas, the one y'all were so friendly with. Let me tell you something you about this, this young man right here. When he's a kid, uh -huh. lived in a trailer, he had a baby gun. He said, I'll eat you with that. I said, before you do, I said, you go ahead and box that. No. I whip your tail. Well, he done whooped me with it. <laughs> <laughs> he whooped me to it. You what now? You can't yeah, you did. Did you? Did he with a gun or shot him? Did he hit you or shoot you? I think I did. Oh, I said, Daddy done whooped me. No. When you and I was out there on the porch, he had a baby gun. You said, I'm going to hit you with this. Oh. And I said, you go ahead, Buck. I'll, I'll get you. I'll whoop your tail. Oh. He whooped me with it. <laughs> <laughs> David was stuttered. Don't be stuttered. Hey, I'll tell you something about David. Was like, he was like. the roughest wrestler I ever wrestled with as a kid. And I come here one time when he was at the Grasser Gym. And he was throwing me all over the place. I mean, being, and I said, hey, if I get, I, I'm going to hit you. Uh, yeah. I told him, I said, he said, you ain't going to do it. And he stuck in a man before I hit you. I hit you. Uh, yeah, he and, uh, and he's like, no, oh, he said, Corky, he just hit me. He's like, but there's all you. He told you he was going to do it. I've got to show some film of him wrestling when he wrestled kids. He did he torture her and him and Well, Corky, I might have been 10. I mean, he would grab me up sometimes oh, and put me on his shoulder yeah. and spin me around, 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 and then say, yeah, now do something. I was like, sit still. <laughs> Let me tell you what happened to me, and this was one of Johnny's friends. And see, we all drove the same car, Johnny and I did. I don't, he must have thought Johnny was in the car. The guy was coming from Dora. Well, I was headed to Dora. I didn't know. I know him. I knew who he was when I got about it. He did like you and Edmo did, too. He got over here, and I thought, oh, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, what am I going to do? Well, I slowed down, but he kept coming, he kept coming. 
But just in the next time he got over, and then when he saw it was me, it was really funny to me. <laughs> I'm giving him, oh, he's just, but oh, you remember Mr. West, Corky? One day, yeah, he did one, me the same way. Cowboy. Cowboy West. He had was, three girls lived in. Uh, and he was drunk I as a hoot. I, 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 I had mother in the car with me. This one <laughs> scared me to death. I was coming this way. The crazy thing had to be drunk. He come over here and got in front of me like this. I got over here, and then he got over there, and I got back over here, and he got back over here. And I'm telling you, just in the nick of time, he ran completely out of the road on the other side of this. I was so aggravated at him. Ooh, Do you remember us riding down 3rd Avenue South and that car pulled out in front of you and you said something smart to him? And me and you were riding when she pulled I up beside him. I was about 16 or 17. She said something to him, you know, that idiot or something like that. She pulled up beside him, I said, and at the red light, and I said, get ready to go at the, when, when the light changes. And the light changed, and I had a cigarette, and I put it in his front seat with him. I said, <laughs> put it, hit him with that cigarette, and she took off. <laughs> you don't remember that? I don't remember. Lord, so much has happened. That's how can I I was like, he won't be pulling out from nobody. Oh, oh wow. Lord. He's trying to find that cigarette. You see, Dora, God <laughs> just took care of us. <laughs> now, everybody, that's all. We're going to say the blessing together. All the food's ready. We're going to get ready. Everybody here we can help sit together. Get a little closer. Hey, come here, Jesse. I don't want all right, we should eat by, uh, if you have your wife here, you should go first. Well, come on, Jesse. <laughs> rest y'all wait. Rest y'all come on in a little bit. Rest, 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 rest of you, hey, we're going to do it like the Bible time. You women are going to make a plate and bring it to us. Hey, Barbara, I'm the one that's in charge. I'm the one in charge. He's not in charge. Yeah, but you want to see if I don't know either. He's going to take you. It's hard, honey. He's going to come to our place. Come on, hey, don't take no pictures. Hey, we're don't. showing Charles. Oh. <laughs> you got to escort Kelly in, Jim. You put the camera up, baby. <laughs> I'll let you do that. I'm going to stick with you. You and me will go at it. You know, and I said, listen, this guy's an idiot. He's drunk. He thinks he's tough. And I said, y'all, we're totally starting to right now. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go home. And he's like, he said, hey, hey, this guy's pretty cool. And I said, Jim, yeah, and then my buddy's an idiot. So let's just let, let us see. I finally told that guy, I said, James, you know what? I'm, I will knock you out. And then I'll just carry you to your car, you know. Come on. So finally, they, 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 let, they let us go, is what happened. I mean, they let us go. But I told that guy, he was trying to stay, he was trying to knock James out. Not my cousin James, but this guy I was hanging out with. Dude, I can't let you do that. I said, I'm, I'm that kind of friend. I can't. I said, you, you said you like me. I said, well, I can't let y'all just jump on you. I said, I'm not that kind of guy. Y'all have to me too. He's like, all right, y'all let this guy go. We're on one side. Y'all let this guy go. Y'all let this guy go. I was at a candy line one night. Act like you're one. My buddy, Shane, was like, I'm fine with this guy. And there's nobody knew who I was. I was standing around. There's several guys standing around about eight or nine. I said, no, I said, I, I got the second guy to get to the fight and the third one. Let me ready, Will. I was Come here, Tim. Tell me how you Come here. 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 Please, he got in the he he one day and he said, he said, Dad, Dad, Dad shot a coon out a tree. I said, he <laughs> went to church the next day and he come up and told me he'd taken a, he'd taken a hunting and shot a coon out a tree. He said, he's the one that spotted us. Then looking for a coon. He said, there he is. He got a shot a coon out a tree. He just tells us, you know, make up a story. Use his imagination. Hey, okay, do this. How does a coon sound? Oh, boy, one of these will kick your behind so hard. Yeah. Hey, drink a coon there. Hey, ready. Those kids are so smart. Hey, come here, Trick Coon. show me how you coon, buddy. Come on, doggy. Hey, Cash. That's one of the dogs' names. Come on, drum. Come on, drum. Drink the coon drum. Let me get my switch out and beat that dog. <laughs> hey, put them on the in the backyard. Who are you? Who drums gone? What about Cash? What dogs you got now that he knows? No. Carl. Carl, Carl. Come on, Carl. Hey, Carl. Show him how to do it. Come on, look at the Come on, Carl. Show him how to do it. Come on, Carl. Show him how to do it. Come on, Carl. Show him how to do it. Come on, Carl. If you want to go hunt mountain lions, you better get on the tree. Oh, you better get on that tree, Daddy. Yeah, I'm going to get the animals that we got around the house right now.
Oh, Wendy's got a dollar. Come on, honey. I found a dollar. Oh, All right. It's a thousand dollars. Do you need them to know anything? Oh, it's a thousand dollars. Yeah. I found a thousand dollars. Daddy, where's your thousand dollars? Somebody's taking care of that. She knows somebody's taking care of that. She knows somebody's taking care of that.
One day I had drove up the country club because I usually was one of the first ones to get there. Well, I had drove up when Park Night came in. There was these two English, English setters. I mean, beautiful dogs. Well, man, they were slobbering at the mouth and that like they were totally exhausted. And I thought that they were in
kids why he wanted because he kept saying, Mommy, 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 Mommy. So he thought, well, who on this side? Yeah, hey, Corey. Some guys were up there and peed on her legs. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. oh, what do you want? Well, obviously, I've got a thing. What's the matter with you? Yeah, that Heimlich maneuver, that was a funny thing. You got it that I emailed to you? Oh, I've I told that. I've heard that for years. There's two old country boys, the way I heard it. Oh, there's one did try that there Heimlich maneuver. <laughs> In a restaurant, jumped up, pulled the lady's pants down. Yeah, but they told me the choking. story before. I know that was hilarious. I got that, and I thought that was so funny. What did I come over and have breakfast for dinner today? Got a dozen eggs too. Like did he really? Yeah, I was, that was so that was so my baby mom time. Well, shoot, that's he said. I can bring a dozen eggs. I said, bring them, come on. And he said, bring them. I'm like, you know it. I took him on. He told me today. He said, I, he said, you don't know how much I enjoy coming over here and having breakfast and eating and seeing y'all. Hello, Larry. Hello, you love some tomatoes. Oh, that's good. Who's that? Thanks, you good guy. Yeah. But he is old. His leg is probably. His whole leg is probably as big around as my wrist. From the mm. knee down. Oh, bless his heart. Uh, 82? 82. Is that he's, he's 30 is he years 82? old. He's 30 he's years exactly older than me. Mm. He's 32 years old. And went to and drove himself to Indiana last year. Wow. Well, he yes. used to make that trip out to Texas to see Sue and them all the time. He's, good. he's doing great. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, my man. Well, I was off town going out on about 90 on drive and take out my folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, he he used to live not on purpose, but you know, it happens, it happens, but I gotta keep driving. When we lived in Indiana, he used to live with us for a while. And he aggravated, he loved to aggravate me, but aggravate me every day. And he was picking on me one day, and Mother said, and she should not say it. She said, Hank, I wouldn't blame Margaret if she picked up a, something and threw it at you. And guess what? She said something. I picked up a fork, and when I did, I, and it hit him right oh, here, no. and it went. Oh, Lord, I was so mad that he was doing that. Because someone's out with that, and then you said next. Yeah. She should have said that, because then I tried to put it out. <laughs> but you know, you do need to be careful what you say around. You do have to be. So, remember. No, that was probably the best thing that night. Yeah, he said that. I bet he didn't pester her for a while. I don't while. think he pestered me anymore after that. But he used to just... Yeah. And you used to pass her baby. Now you have to be careful about what you say around Annie like that too. Because who was that? She was, when somebody was borrowing one of her kids and she took the hoe and hit the lady in the head with the hoe? That's that. where Corky got that axe throwing from, right? Oh, yeah. Nanny hit the lady in the head with the hoe. She came up with one of her kids for doing something, got on the one of her kids, and Mama took the hoe and hit the lady in the head and said, You don't whip discipline my kids. It had to be. It had to be before she got sick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It had to be she got saved. No, it's probably I think I bet John or Jimmy. I bet it was Jimmy Ray. Because Jimmy Ray was the oldest and he's six years old. How old is the same man? Because in Wiggy Mother's known as a whole of Wiggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she likes to never let that man know. Oh Larry, I don't remember that. No, no. You do remember her hitting that lady though. No, I don't the, the story. Mother told me the story. Do you remember mother hitting a lady in it with a hoe because she uh, was hitting one of her kids or whipping one of her kids? I mean I that does sort something. Well, it doesn't sleep. I know she had. Not all these stories. I can't road. believe these folks don't have me. She's from here. Gets to Taylor Burby. Taylor Burby come outside and she'll stalk her. Well, I, I can I can believe I that. Or she found a little. Or she found a big woman. Oh, mother. She's about five eight. Five eight. She's little. Mother was five seven, and she was a nine year old. Yeah, she was a little. She was tall. That's what we mean by big woman. We don't always. She was. We mean. I've got pictures of her. She wasn't. 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 I didn't say she was fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm so confused. I don't know what I'm saying. Now, Ben was wanted me to be big. Well, no, he don't mean, if I wanted to be fat, I'd say fat. But see, I would never she ask my mom to be fat. He's got another one. He's got another one. He's got another one. He's got another one. Well, Amber was just about five, five. My mother was five, seven. She was bigger than that. She was bigger than that. He did not mean to. They were playing. Well, now, I think they were loving five, seven.
given is that. We have this. It's it's the sky stops now. It's, it's bigger now than yeah, it was 20, 30 years ago. Mother was a big Because I used to think average in a woman was 5'5. But now the girl at work told me the other day, oh no, Barbara, average in a woman is 5'5. Yeah, that's what she told me. She said she was going to get the other day. Well, you can't do that. 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 You can't do Heather's six four and my brother six five. You should say the picture of me and that child. Are you going to have like down here though? Is that your little girl? Is that your little girl? They're very nice. Now, Dad, when your dad's. My dad's first. Your dad's and your mom's kids? No, not my mother. They're half-sisters. They're half-sisters. It's like me and Jimmy Ray and me and John. Barbara and Jimmy Ray. They had the same dad. Same mother. They had the nose difference. They had the same dad's different mother. We had the same mother different days. Yeah. So it's another. Same thing. Their mother's probably. Yeah, she's lower.